V-E-N-O-M. That's how you spell Venom. Uh, none of those letters really equate to what I'd give the state of play, but we're not talking about Sony Showcase here. We're talking about Marvel Rivals coming to consoles as we've discussed, and it happens earlier than I anticipated. We're getting a beta in July. We're getting Venom today. Goodness gracious, is he ferocious? Let me know in the comments down below which new character you're most excited to play. I know the answer, but there's two new characters revealed in this trailer. We're getting a console release for the game on PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. No last gen, all current gen. It feels good, and Venom looks spicy as all. And we got some great gameplay highlighting both he and Adam Warlock, the Blonde Bandit. That's my nickname, don't worry, it's not official. Uh, as well as a tease for a new map, but Venom comes in with his, is it Driving Strike or di I think it's Diving Strike. Let's see this right here. Pause, Diving Strike. Uh, you can see what he's got going on. He's got synergy with Spider-Man. He's got 700 health. He is a Vanguard, and he looks freaking great. I feel like they, I don't know. I feel like the effects are majorly upped in this trailer. That right there is Gorgantuous. He's eating the whole freaking screen in his ultimate. Meanwhile, our good guy, Adam Warlock, uh, he's got 250 health, and it looks like he's firing off some protective shields. I don't know why Hela got a feature in this trailer. I guess she's one of the newer announced characters. Firing her crows from above, showcasing some team-ups here. The Rocket and uh, Punisher team-up is one of my absolute favorites. But check out this environmental destruction. The weather effects, the environmental destruction. This is definitely an upgrade as the game progresses, uh, and I think it's... I'm really just feeling good about this one. There's other hero shooters out there. Obviously, Overwatch is still out there, but I think Marvel Rivals may just have the edge, given the IP, given the characters, and given how well these characters integrate into the gameplay. Uh, Mr. Star-Lord, Adam Warlock, and Mantis all team up together. Uh, Adam Warlock seems to be, let's see, Star-Lord is going ham with his moves, and then Spider-Man is going to team up with... Uh, Penny and with Venom to create this this thing. I don't even know what you call this here uh, This monstrous orb we can see Venom off in the corner Just chilling a little bit um, and Spider-Man as well if we go back to Venom's gameplay introduction right here um, Let's see before he activates the ultimate His moves it looks like he's got okay So this one is the Venom you can see the tongue in the middle for the ultimate the the, the thumbstick click in Um it looks like right bumper is some sort of shield. Um, his circle is the diving strike. That's the uh, the swing into the strike. And then his other attack, his left bumper, it looks like some sort of missile. Um, and it does say he has infinite of whatever that is. So he's firing, I'm guessing, some sort of missile with infinite on the ammo counter. Uh, for Warlock, it's a bit trickier to see. Let's, let's get to a good spot here. Um... Warlock, oh. Warlock, something is counting down. His ultimate is a big freaking supernova. Um, he does a 15 out of 15, which looks like it's going to be his blast. And he has a chain health effect. Um, that's what's on the RB with one. It looks like he can chain it to multiple different people. His left bumper could be some sort of shield, um, but it also could be an alternate type missile attack. What is the one on the, the cooldown right here? Let's see. On the cooldown, doesn't even have a button by it. So it's Adam doing something. He's going, it's when he's like going into, yeah, right bumper is heel there. Okay. He's going into some sort of like cosmic state. He gets all goldified there. He spins gold. Um, yeah, there's him firing something away. Hella fires. But I think even more than the characters, despite how cool both Warlock and Venom look, Venom in particular, of course, it's that the beta is so soon. I thought there would be a two-month lag um, between the closed alpha closing and the next time you could play the game, um, but this console beta is starting up in July. Unless it's at the very end of July, the tail end, you're going to get to play it in about a month and a half, or maybe even a month, which is really cool. And that does tell me that the launch is close, that they are going to push to get this game out uh, this fall. Maybe even late this summer, depending on how you categorize summer. You know, summer being August and September. Again, the building destruction. What the heck is going on? Since when did this game get all these destructible environments and look this freaking cool and this freaking sweet? It's like Venom appears and they're like, oh, we got to level up our game. Or console appears and, oh, we got to level up our game. I do think the game is going to play really well on console. I'm a controller player. I'm a unabashed, proud controller player. I don't pretend to be 
amazing at these kind of games. Um, but I do really, really, really like Marvel Rivals. And I think it's it's fine to play on controller. I'm excited to play against other people on controller. Um, so it's a little bit more fair. But I, I did solid in, in Marvel Rivals in the closed alpha, even though most people are probably on PC. Adam Warlock looking beefy. He's been in the gym. Got a nice staff there. Cool little character screen. Venom. Oh my gosh. Every art piece of Venom in this game is just amazing. I love how hulking he looks. Um, if you play Marvel Snap, he reminds me of the Kim uh, Jacinto variant. He looks so dang good. That is a really cool picture there. Magneto, Storm, Scarlet, Spidey, Penny, and uh, Venom. And we also are getting a bonus skin for PS5 exclusive. But let's talk about the tease. Um, she talks about seeing how things are going in space, and then we get Black Panther walking through some purple ethereal plane. Now, I thought maybe this was teasing a new character, but it does, in fact, seem to be teasing a map. A Wakanda map has leaked previously uh, from Miller Ross and Data Mines of Marvel Rivals. Seems like the Wakanda map will be the newest map on the block, and that will probably be introduced um, in the... Uh, Whatchamajinky, in, in the beta. I'm guessing we'll get a new a new thing in the beta. Um, a new map, which will be pretty darn cool. So we've got that, which is lovely. We've got Venom, which is lovely. Um, this Wakanda map will probably be very pretty. Yeah, you can tell by the claws. And then closed beta on PS5 and Xbox Series S and X and PC. Well, I don't know about PC. I'm assuming so. Uh, in July. In the video trailer, if you go to the... Um, the video that they posted on YouTube, it does say in the description, Marvel Rivals coming to Xbox, PS5, and PC. I would guess that the beta is going to be kind of on everything. I would guess that they'll, they'll run it back on PC. They'll give console players a chance, and we'll see what happens. Um, That's the end of the trailer there. Oh, no, you do get the PS5 exclusive Scarlet Spider costume. I don't think it's as cool as the Spider-Punk costume, but it is another costume, um, and those skins are pretty sweet. I think they do a nice, nice, nice job, um, and I really do appreciate uh, what they've got rolling there for our boy Spider-Man. Um, I think some other characters do need some love on the skin front because we have given, you know, quite a few skins to Spider-Man, uh, Basically, everybody that does not have a full-on skin that just has a color palette swap, I think needs a skin. I think we need to give skins to all those characters as well. Uh, but Venom skins are probably going to be super sick. Adam Warlock looks really fun. Um, based on Star-Lord, Groot, and Rocket, Adam Warlock... Well, maybe not. I was going to say, he should be an easier character to play because all of the Guardians thus far are pretty easy. we got Mantis as well. It is very Guardians heavy, but I guess they just fit. But I'm guessing Adam Warlock is going to be a more difficult character to play. Same with Venom. I think both of them will be three or four star difficulty characters. I don't think five star difficulty like Spidey. Um, Venom seems a little more straightforward, although he can swing in and dive down. As we see right here, he swings in and then the diving strike looks to be a pretty sick attack. He uses diving strike. Um, oh, that's what's on, that's what's on his uh, circle, but then what did he use this on his left bumper? Maybe his left bumper is his webs then. Yeah, he's using his web. Okay, so web, web is his left bumper. That's the, what hits the cooldown first. Um, so then left trigger must be some sort of projectile web. Is my guess. Can he punch as well? Or is it all just going to be devour? I love that. Devour is what you're actually doing. You can see he's healing two in a row. Um, let me know if you guys have sort of sussed anything, any additional details out of this trailer, out of the few moments of Adam Warlock and Venom gameplay. But right now, I think both of them look sick. I think Venom looks like the clear fan favorite and just like the the one I'm most excited to play. Where's his eyeballs? You don't mean eyeballs with a tongue like that, with teeth like that, with moves like that. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Marvel Rivals is back in July, sooner than we anticipated. And there's going to be more revealed, apparently, uh, it seems, at Summer Games Fest. NetEase is a part of the presentation. Maybe they'll announce the exact date of the beta, show even more. Maybe they'll show off the Wakanda map. Or maybe they'll run this exact same trailer. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys posted either way. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Remember to let me know what character you're more excited to play as in the comments down below. And until next time, drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.